Hi, welcome to my video on exponentials. It's find the uh, exponential functions. Find the equation as y equals a b to the x over c as an exponent plus k. So this video is looking for the equation when we have an asymptote given to us, and the asymptote is the k. Find the equation of each as y equals a uh, b x over c plus k. Number one, the range is y is greater than negative 8. The x-intercept is negative 5. The y-intercept is negative 4. And we have x increments, increments of 5. So if the range is y is greater than negative 8, that means the asymptote the asymptote is y equals negative 8. So we'll put in y equals a b x over c minus 8 is the asymptote. Now let's look at when we have a y-intercept. So we also are given the y-intercept is negative 4. And the negative 4 so y-intercept, x is 0, y is negative 4. So x is 0, y is negative 4. So in this equation, I'm going to put in negative 4 for y. And I'm going to put in 0 for x. In doing that, when I simplify, I have 0 over c. And that means as long as c is not 0, 0 over c is 0. And b to the 0 power is 1. So we have negative 4 plus 8 equals a times 1 is a. So a becomes 4. So that means the equation now. I'm going to fill in this equation here with a is 4. b x over c minus 8. So what we have now, now I'm going to fill in the y, or sorry, the x-intercept. I filled in the y-intercept, so let's fill in the x-intercept. So the x-intercept is negative 5. So that means if the x-intercept is negative 5, x is negative 5, and y is 0. So x is negative 5, y is 0. So in this equation, I'm going to fill in y is 0. And I'm going to fill in that x is a negative 5. So we have this equation. When we simplify it, we have negative 4b to the negative 5 over c minus 8. And we divide by negative 4. And we have b to the negative 5 over c equals 2. And now we look through, we have the x increments. The x increments is our 5. So that means c is 5. So in this equation right here, I'm going to put in c is 5. Five. So b to the negative 1 equals 2. So b to the negative 1 is 1 over b equals 2 over 1. Cross multiply. 2b equals 1. Divide by 2 and b is equal to a half. So in this equation that I have here, I have the increments of 5 filled in. So I have y, a is 4, b is a half, x, and I have c is 5 minus 8. So that's the equation that represents this info right here. And notice we have an asymptote of a negative 8. Now let's try another one. And this time I have a graph. And again, looking at the graph, the first thing I look for is I look for, I have a, 
dotted line here. So that's an asymptote passing through y equals 1. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So y is 1. So my asymptote graph. Notice this is a growth curve. And as we go to negative infinity, this goes to 1. So the asymptote is y equals negative 1. So the equation y equals a b x over c plus 1. Asymptote is filled in. Now we have a, some ordered pairs going through here. And let's see if we can write these ordered pairs down. Negative 6 gives me a 2. Negative 4 for x gives me a 3. Negative 2 for x gives me a 5 for y. And x is 0, y is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's all the ordered pairs. And when I look through these ordered pairs, I see the point 0, 9. So I'm going to put 0, 9 into this equation. x is 0 and y is 9. So 9 equals a, b, 0 over c plus 1. So 9 equals a and b to the 0. So 0 over c is 0 and b to the 0 is 1. So 9 minus 1 equals a. So a becomes 8. So the equation is y equals 8 b x over c plus 1. Now we notice that if you look at here, I'm looking at negative 6, the x values, negative 4, negative 2, 0. Notice the x values are, are 2 in the difference each time, so that means the increment change is 2. So y equals 8, b, c is 2, plus 1. So if we take any one of these ordered pairs here now and sub in, well, we already subbed in 0 equals 9, so we can take either one of these, we'll sub in. So let's take negative 2, 5, and sub in. That's x and that's y. So y is 5, 8, b, negative 2 divided by 2, plus 1. 5 equals 8, b to the negative 1, plus 1. So we have, uh, we could go with either way, we can move negative 8, b to the negative 1 is 1 minus 5, negative 8, b to the negative 1 equals negative 4, divide by negative 8. So b to the negative 1 equals 1 half. So 1 over b equals 1 half. So let's go up here. Cross multiply. 1 times b is b. 1 times 2 is 2. So b is 2. So the equation becomes y equals, I'm subbing into right here, b is 2. b is 2. x over 2 plus 1. Remember we said the base was, this is a growth curve because as you go to your right, you're going up. So the base 2 fits in. And notice that I talked about the uh, asymptote in these uh, questions. In the previous videos, we're finding the equation as y equals a, b, x over c. But notice in this one that there's a zero on the end. So when I looked at the previous equations, I didn't have an asymptote there because the asymptote, yes, the asymptote is zero for this question. It depends on the base, but the asymptote is zero. So in the previous videos on finding equation, I didn't have an asymptote because the asymptote was understood to be zero. And in these two, we had asymptotes. So that brings us to the end of this video. And if you like my video, click the like button, click the subscribe button, visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com. 
to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. And that's the content that's on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video was of some help to you. Bye-bye.